All right, so this is Bodybuilding Babble, series that's telling us bodybuilding. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm going to talk about this ridiculous gossip that's going on between Fuad and Greg Valentino because I, I have a little bit of a different take on it than everybody else. So bear with me. So if those of you who don't know, Greg Valentino apparently has uh, the opinion that Fuad will not let Sam Sulik go on anybody else's podcast now. And we all have that same opinion because this has been rumors circulating and he's not the only athlete that has signed with Hostel that can't go on anybody else's podcast. Okay. I, my podcast is proof of that because Nick Walker could not go on anybody else's podcast when he was signed to Hostel. And then literally after he broke the deal with Hostel a week later, I was the first podcast he was on. So that's accurate. Uh, he's not the only one. There's Brett Wilkin, Justin Shear, so on and so forth. Although every contract must be different because Samson Dowder has been on my channel three or four times at this point, right? I actually consider Samson a good friend at this point. But there's a couple of things. The first thing is I don't understand why Fuad won't own it, right? If your contract states that you can't go on anybody else's podcast, you know, your answer should be, look, this is the contract the kid signed. He's making a lot of money with me, and he is exclusive to the hostile podcast only until the contract is up. I don't understand why this is like such a big deal. Nobody put a gun to Sam Sulik's head and said you have to sign it. He said, if you want to sign with me, here is the contract, and here are the rules and regulations you have to abide by. So many signings, so many shows, so many booths, uh, only uh, ex uh, come on my podcast, um, exclusive to my podcast, whatever the case may be, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, because if that's the case, then just say it, Fuad. If you say it, then it'll all go away. Okay. I don't know why you are you afraid people are going to think ill of you. And I think that's what it is. I think Fuad is afraid that people are going to think negatively about him right but and here is my reason behind that greg valentino who has been in the bodybuilding world forever okay he was in the biggest strong affairs there he's been part of rx muscle forever he uh he worked out at gold's gym in venice during its heyday and the guy is really funny and uh, uh a great personality on podcasting when it comes to bodybuilding. He, the guy is hilarious. But Fuad, you're literally probably one of the biggest names and supplement owners in bodybuilding. You have this extensive bodybuilding career. You have this huge supplement company that signs incredible athletes. And you have a bodybuilding podcast that is one of the most successful in the bodybuilding world. So who cares if Greg Valentino says something like that? Because when you make a, a video reacting to it, it, it almost, it almost validates exactly what Greg says because you're offended by it. You could just ignore him. So my advice would be, now I know, listen, I'm not a supplement owner. I'm not a champion bodybuilder, but I am 47 years old and I have been around the block when it comes to life. You could either ignore it or own the idea that this is what you actually have in your contract for Sam Sully. Either way is a better way to handle it than to go on and say that Greg Valentino doesn't know shit and that people don't listen to him anyway, and that he could come on RX Muscle if he wanted to, or any other podcast if he wanted to, but why would he want to? Because he doesn't know any of you guys, so on and so forth. It kind of validates what Greg says, and it validates what we've been saying for a very long time. This isn't new. This isn't. This has been going around since you signed Soma Sam, because we've all been trying to get him on, because he's become one of the biggest social media influencers since you signed him. So all the podcasters are trying to get him on, right? 
the other thing. Sam, I know you're a young guy, and you're probably not going to be even watching this, right? You're probably just in the gym. I know you're a young guy, and you're in your 20s. You're probably 22 at this point, or whatever the case may be. But part of being a man is standing up for yourself. It's starting to look like you're hiding behind Big Daddy Fuad. It seems like you can't handle your own battles. So you yourself could actually go on your YouTube channel or your Instagram or your TikTok or all three and say, hey, look, guys, I love the fact that everybody wants me on their podcast, but I can't because it's in the contract that I signed with Hostel and nobody put a gun to my head. I knew this going in that I was exclusive only to the Hostel podcast. So until my contract with Hostel is complete, I cannot go on anybody else's podcast. Or if that's not the truth, Sam, you could also say, look, guys, I don't like doing podcasts. I really love the fact that you guys want me on. Uh, and I understand the influence I'm having and the bodybuilding and fitness world, but I hate doing podcasts and I just don't want to do, do it. it. It's one or the other. And either way, if you address this, Sam, and give everybody an answer, guess what? This all goes away. And everybody stops gossiping and finding out. And what did this one say? And what did that one say? And what did this one say? Put your big boy pants on, Sam. I know you're a young man, but part of growing up is, is fighting your own battles. Stop hiding behind big Papa Fuad to fight your battles for you, okay? Because every time he comes on and defends you about not going on any podcast, you seem like you're being pinned. Just like Greg said. So just fucking say it, man. And this all goes away. In my experience, when you address something directly and give everybody an answer, especially if it's the truth, nobody could talk anymore because you addressed it. Just my opinion, guys. All right. Anyway, that's my opinion about this whole mess. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you find out all the content that Serious and Silliness Bodybuilding is giving you. And I truly believe I'm the best because I believe I give you the truth. Later, guys. Till the, the obviously edit that out too. So until Jesus Christ. <laughs> So many shows, you know, so, so many, you know, uh, you know, edit that part out. Obviously, edit all, edit all the dead parts out that when I can't fucking think straight.